Okay, hello everyone. Uh, another recap. Probably not the one I was imagi ima imagining to do. <laughs> uh, started off with a MTSL. Was uh, I just got bookmap over weekend, so it's like a new toy, and I was like mostly trading basically bookmap not the actual setup so this happened I was quite say patient waiting for lady fate waited after 1 p.m. and gave this breakdown and of course I shorted too early because I saw a heat map on, on, on bookmap so rather than shorting here and then even if it doesn't go all the way if you play by the rules you cover in the money, you cover here, you don't let it go against you so short it here, stopped short it here, I think I covered somewhere here no no got, yeah short it here, covered here, it's okay short, stop short stop it's uh, it's a mess basically all the way up like like a madman then of course I got angry because of this so I was like thinking yeah I'm gonna get you so started shorting those I, I believe there was a heat map on book map as well so basically started chasing tops and just total mess and that's how my week started it didn't get any better empty cell again then the following day I had ENDP as well was waiting for Lady Fate ENDP again same mistake I, I, I kept trading book map not the actual setup oh this is just a poor management short it here no covers here let it run run against me and actually hit my stop loss it's just horrible not entirely sure what was my idea over here shorting this what I was chasing I've got no idea don't ask me I don't even know so that was poor management managed to get this but then again I was maybe as well a little bit too early but still didn't hit my stop loss but the fact that I let it run against towards my stop loss rather than covering here and re-entering here is just poor poor management so after all those management issues uh, I sort of waited for my targets I kept seeing it breaking down and there was a huge resistance I think on 413 or something and it kept pushing down and somewhere here it got removed so I thought it was just gonna fully break down before before closing but of course it didn't, it pushed, managed to cover so in the money next, what next? EMDP, EMDP. Uh, the following day CEMI CEMI that was Wednesday wasn't it? oh no that's I think I traded it two days. Yeah, I think that was Thursday yesterday. And I traded the day before. The same thing was waiting for Lay Day Fate. Oh my god. Yeah, I think I remember I tried to catch one extension, so take it from all the way up, 
but sort of got stopped out and said okay just wait for setup so it pushed could have tried this but after this I was like yeah okay just wait for your setup you tried it no luck so waited here I've got some poor management over here I believe as well letting it run against me I short it stopped yeah I think I kept like pretty tight tight stop loss over here as well didn't well it pushed up quite suddenly so it's okay but still should have been maybe break even at least and I don't think I took anything else over here yeah I didn't take anything there uh, vi Visa Visa <coughs> that was I believe yesterday So I was present for actually for the open. Didn't make it for for pre-market. So uh, my main watch was this, I believe, for gap and crap. But it didn't. So I was waiting patiently for a trade, basically for getting it to arrive. And I think the first one was this. Uh, I thought it went down under, and as well, I was kept looking at the book map. I thought it's gonna break down, like shorted this, had had this like sort of trend line, and I thought, yeah, okay, it broke. And and adding all the heat map on book map and give up above, above I was it's gonna break down. But oh no, sorry, fuck, that was my long. Jesus Christ, I'm thinking that's even worse. The net well, yeah, <laughs> it is even worse. I had the chat very zoomed in actually, and uh, I thought it's not that much of a risk. So I risked this candle so long because I thought, okay, it reclaimed nine, uh, nine above, and I thought, yeah, it's gonna push. But just my entry alone, it's, it's shocking. I had, I think I stopped here, after which I gave up on Visa. And it should have been easy, just enter here and then you have an easy trade. Or even you could enter here, manage it well, take your profits, and the money we enter or we add. But I took the stop as well, that was one or two cents and I like yeah okay I'm having a bad day just leave it alone on the same day I had uh, against CMI which was which was what can I say just because it was one and the three and the five I thought like yeah that's it and, and adding a book map heat map over here I showed it here didn't wait for any like confirmation or anything just hit here got stopped out hit straight away again because it was still like levels of heat map hit here got stopped out hit here because oh yeah it's VWAP and it's like book map hit here stopped out I was fuming. I was actually fuming. And adding, I think, uh, Visa trade as well. I was sort of getting close, getting close to my max day loss. But then somehow managed to get this. So I took a tighter stop, uh, risky, I think only five cents. If I would have taken like previous one, 10. I would have wouldn't have stopped out here, but so got stopped out, but still re-ended here. I had like a really sort of tight trend line, and once it dipped, I hit on the ask. It came back, filled me, and then took it all the way down. Covered one here, 
when covered a bit after 9 you may reclaim and then it just squeezed everyone so after solve this one I, I, I felt a little bit better to be honest like for thinking to myself just just literally try the setup like wait for, for confirmation and just manage it better and then today I think it was yeah nothing else yesterday and today was XBIO which was quite funny as well I was waiting for late day fade and I was like very proud of myself sitting on my hands and stuff uh, set through this sort of fake breakdown thing they didn't trade it but even that you could have traded so and I was waiting for this that was already after 1.30 p.m. so I was waiting for this had my trend line everything and at this point I was watching this for like two hours I think XBI, <laughs> XBIO and was waiting here to, to short just as it broke the trend I hit my hit short on the ask just like a couple of seconds before I would have gone filled and <laughs> I got the error that I don't have any locates so basically I, I borrowed shares for different ticker and was watching this all the time so I got a little bit frustrated with myself but it came back it gave another setup another rejection ticket but because of this I covered too early over here it was hovering on this price level and there was a, a tiny resistance on book map and I thought okay it, it, it might push up basically because it gave this maybe it faked out again it was float rotating multiple times over 30 times I believe and volume was still sort of quite high so it caught me a little bit covered too soon then because of the same reason as well I covered here rather than using this as a guide which never saw sort of closed above it maybe that would have been another st sticking point but if your entry is here I'm sure you can risk something here trailing to sort of feel safe even this even here wouldn't have stopped you out so you still can trade it all the way down to your final target because it's that was the only sort of anything after that is just absolutely stress free but yeah this sort of just reassures you just to take setups and just wait for them sit on your hands and actually manage your trade you know as well so I suppose that's it hopefully what I realized is I think because when I change something I get sort of FOMO, not FOMO, but I need to try to use it to see if it works. So previous week uh, was a bit funny week as well because I changed something with my hotkeys. So I was like, I need to try it. So I was inventing trade opportunities basically. Oh yeah, I need to short here or whatever just to use it to see if it works. And then once you sort of do that, you lose, and uh, then I get angry, and I wouldn't say like very much revenge trade, but more or less like I have to prove that I'm right, that there was a setup when there wasn't. And now this week I added book map, so it took me a while to actually use it, not as a signal, but more like look at it as a confirmation sort of uh, to add to everything else that you see on uh, on the actual chart so yeah that's it and for this week thanks for 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 tuning in